Game of Thrones season two, episode two, the Nightlands. <laughs> Let's go, Eddard. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So there's so much going on. It's hard to talk about. Like you almost have to like stop and take notes and get it organized. Mm -hmm. I just got organized with my notes. Yeah, we took a little time out, everybody. Took about 15 just to get them organized. What sigil did you see? Did you see one on there? I wasn't looking. Dang, I didn't see one. What's the spider? Uh, Probably whoever is Varus. Pike. That's new. That's where... Theon's from. So look, southwest of Winterfell, maybe? I wonder how long it's going to take him to get there. Because don't he have to go convince his dad to join? Good luck. I didn't really catch on early in the episode that like how the timeline was working. Yeah, how it was over this course of like months. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Like I know that. That means Arya has been missing for quite some time. I'm surprised they still are hanging on to the fact she's alive. It's starting to get to the point where I have anxiety going into these. Yeah, for sure. I don't know who's about to get slaughtered up by Joffrey. Let's go. That's a chill spot in the woods, though. Yeah, it is. Boy, what do you want? A man does not drink for a day and the night. A boy could make a friend. I have friends. This beer before I skin you. Okay. Beer. These two, they have no courtesy. The men must ask forgiveness. You're called Ari. This man has the honor to be Jack and Raka, once of the free city of Flora. Hey, you little shits. <laughs> Get us beer. Out the you, dirt on him. How are you going to find beer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that person. And I'll shut that oh shit up your bungalow. Boy has more courage than sense. Yoren said none of us were to go near those three. Hurry! <laughs> they don't scare me. Then you're stupid. Yeah, me. She didn't even have to walk up there. She <laughs> just don't walk up there next time. Right. I would throw some dirt on them. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! They think they're looking for her. You're in command, man. <laughs> You're a long way from home. I asked you a question. You asked without manners, and I chose not to answer. I have a royal warrant. One of these gutter rats you're transporting. Uh oh. Well, the thing is, these gutter rats belong to the Night's Watch. That puts them beyond the reach of kings and. That's what I was thinking last episode. Quick. People worry so much about their throats that oh. they forget about what's down low. I sharpened this blade before breakfast. I could shave a spider's arse if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> nick this artery in your leg. Oh, ouch. No one around here knows how to unnick it. <laughs> well said, bro. We'll just keep that. Dang, took his gat from him. Good steel is always needed on the wall. Oh, and See if you have a choice. You can die here at this crossroads a long way from home. Or you can go back to your city and tell your masters you didn't find what you were looking for. Yeah, we need more of that energy. But he seems like he knows something. Like, he's sticking up hard for... Oh, Kazaria. That's why. He carries a bull's head helmet. Oh, they're not even looking for her. They're looking right. for him. We'll earn the king's reward. We'll be back with more men. And I'll be taking your head home along with that bastard boy. Bro, you should have killed him. But it has some horse stew in it. Bury them boys up. I like that though. You go, Yorin. Is that TV on in there? I was. I thought there was some ghosts in the house, y'all. <laughs> Not really. People are so literal, they'll really think that I thought that. Uh -oh. That ain't good. We were just speaking of your bravery in the victory against the Stark auxiliary forces. <laughs> was quite a battle. Sure was for you. You suffered a terrible head wound. <laughs> he knows everything. And I tell him the story of how we meet. <laughs> Find so lovely a creature, it almost beggars belief. <laughs> Strange things do happen. You should taste her fish pie. I don't think Lord Varys likes fish pie. I can always tell. Men like Lord Varys and I can't let our disadvantages get the best of us. Don't make a fisherman of him yet. <laughs> I am glad your new friend was able to accompany you to the capital. Blackmail. Unfortunate that your father didn't want her to come. He knows everything. He's mocking him, He knows I'm everything. Keeping secrets for my good friends. <laughs> your discretion is legendary. AKA, do me a favor. How unspeakable of me to go on and on. I will leave you. Welcome to King's Landing, my dear. The city is made brighter by your presence. We have a council meeting, my lord. <laughs> I don't like threats. I'm not Ned Stark. I understand the way this game is played. Ned Stark was a man of honor. And I am not. Threaten me again, and I'll have you thrown into the sea. Oh, okay, Tyrion. You might be disappointed in the results, 
Okay. The storms come and go. The big fish eat the little fish. And I keep on paddling. Come, my lord. Oh. We shouldn't keep the queen waiting. He's basically saying people come and go, but I'm going to be right here. Yeah, Your absolutely. little family's out. I'm all about business, boys. Oh. He has more spirit than his father. I'll give him that. Affected the art of tearing up papers. <laughs> give him his father's bones back, at least as a gesture of good faith. Get the Starks our reply, cousin. I will, Your Grace. Did you see my brother? I did. They have not broken his spirit, Your Grace. If you speak with him, tell him he has not been forgotten. I will, Your Grace. Safe travels, cousin. That poor guy. <laughs> yeah, even if I'm the cousin, I don't want nothing to do with that family. I would be like, I don't want to go back, please. Mm -hmm. Even flew in this I might stay. From Castle Black. Trouble with the wildlings. That's why they're called wildlings. Somewhat less wild these days. Seems they've stopped killing each other and started following this king beyond the war. How many is that now? Five? I've just <laughs> <count>. <laughs> Lord Commander asks that we send more men to man the wall. Perhaps he's forgotten we're fighting a war. We have no men to spare. Right. <laughs> Cold winds are rising and the dead rise with them. Northerners are a superstitious people. Where's that hand? We really need them to bring that there. <laughs> How do you kill a dead man? Apparently you burn him. One trip to the wall and you come back believing in grumpkins and snarks. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, Cersei. They're real. Night's Watch is the only thing that separates us from what lies beyond the wall. I have every confidence. Brave men of the Night's Watch will protect us all. And she feels like if any threats are able to get south, they'll be so worn out that she's really not worried about it. She doesn't really care about the region or the Seven Kingdoms, just hers, right? Seems a bit greedy for one man to have so many wives. <laughs> Sam, keep Wouldn't your eyes down. three be enough for it? We were having a serious discussion. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> Nothing like the sight of a woman walking away. I prefer watching them come towards me. I'm sure that's nice too. <laughs> we were wrestling together from the time we were six years old. And then we got older. The wrestling uh, changed. <laughs> Wish I grew up on a farm. He just doesn't relate, does he? <laughs> the steward's life. <laughs> no. Ghost? No. Shoot. Shoot. Look okay, at Sam. About to talk to this girl because Ooh. of that dog. Look, he just right. protected her. Did he frighten you? you? You shouldn't touch me. Just wanted to make sure you weren't hurt. You're very brave. <laughs> <laughs> he said no ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he did. Shoo. <laughs> but he stuck up to the wolf. This is Gilly. <gasps> She's one of Craster's daughters. Okay. Hello, Gilly. What are you doing? Sam said you could help. Sorry, but Sam knows we're not supposed She's to. pregnant. Oh, God, with his kids. I guess it's going to be a boy. That's why she's concerned. We have to take him with us when we leave. Because where did they go? We don't know. I know it sounds a bit mad. The local commander oh, we are sworn to protect. Sam, we can't take Please, a... sir, please. It's just not possible. I'm going to have a baby. If it's a boy. If it's a boy, what? Thrown in the snow? Tell us. <laughs> I mean, it goes without saying. Why do you do that? Do what? Ask her a question. <laughs> you were cruel. Cruel? <laughs> Sam, are you in such a hurry to lose a hand? I didn't touch her. No, you just want to steal her. I can't steal her. She's a person, not a goat. <laughs> <laughs> what will we do with her? Who's gonna deliver a baby? You? I could try. Oh. <laughs> what? I've read about it. A bit? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. We can't help her. That sucks, man. <laughs> Why is he She's trying to steal goat. her for real? Like, what are they gonna do? What's the logistics on that? I guess she thinks that she can just march with them and then just go back to the wall. How wild would the Night's Watch be if it allowed that? You can't even uh, disobey your post. Right. Oh, they dehydrated. Yeah, he looks about dead, don't he? Mm-hmm. They're really emphasizing how dirty that neck is. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone deliver something. Who's running out there? The riders aren't there. I know. Just the horse. So what the heck? Water? Blood. Blood. So that horse was in a scrap, huh? That horse was crazy. Oh, they sent that back as like a, oh no. Dang, the way they was going is danger. They're too weak to fight. Oh. And they cut his hair off. Man. So it was a Dothraki? His hair wasn't that long though. He is blood of my blood. Who did this? Calpono, perhaps. They don't like the idea of a woman leading a Kalasar. They will like it far less when I am done with them. Ooh. Dang. First, you need some water. That horse looks so cool, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important to burn the body. I mean, just burn his head. At least his head will. They need, they need to change a pace over there because they're going to, like, give up. It's so weird how they have so much empathy for each other. Like, he dies and she's wailing, right? Uh -huh. But they were just pillaging and, like, murdering and just, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so just it's just so weird to think, like. Different standards, I guess. 
Right. And just because you're not part of our herd, you're just an animal to us. Like, that's just a really weird mentality. It's hard to understand it. Yeah. I guess that's where he's so excited to be home because they had to trade him off because of the war, right? His home was like, it sucks, though. So it looks like to one, there. one bridge to death. That's his welcome yeah. home gift? This is a big day for them. They haven't had much to get excited about since I left. It's a hard place, the Iron Islands. Cold and it's wet. I barely touched her. Now you charge twice as much as every other brothel. And this is what I get. Crying. One moment, my friend. I was he pissed? You gotta take care of it. Please accept my sincerest apologies. What in the world? Oh, is it the one who just had her yeah, baby? Yeah, they took her baby, huh? It's Rose? Did he hurt you? Oh, my Lord. Megan, she works for you. Baby. Oh, it wasn't her baby, obviously. She's just crying over it. Yeah. Sometimes those with the most power have the least grace. <laughs> you know, you remind me of another girl. A lovely thing I once acquired, beautiful. Like yourself, she cried often. I asked her why, but we didn't have the kind of rapport that you and I have. Yes, it was quite sad. Extremely expensive. And this one wasn't making me any money. Uh oh. Dang, he seems so like sensitive at first, I didn't he? Bad investments. They haunt He's me. basically like, shut up and get to work. Yeah, I'm gonna throw you out in that sea. A very wealthy patron. He offered me a tremendous amount of money to let him transform this lovely, sad girl. Use her in ways that never occur to most men. Oh my. I would not say he succeeded in making her happy, but my losses were definitely mitigated. Take tonight off to mourn Megan's child. I'll see you tomorrow, and you'll be happy. I'm surprised he gave her enough credit to think that, like, she would even understand what he was saying. I know. Leave us, Podrick. I believe we know how to pour our own wine. But your new squire would have found you a proper lad. Myself, I prefer the improper ones. <laughs> That's a good red, Dornish. You know your wines, my lord. Fine dinner, my lord. Call me Tyrion, please. I'm sure you're getting used to fine dinners now that you're a lord. Maybe I'll hire this cook of yours. Wars have been started for less. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was some trouble in Littlefinger's brothel the other night. Nasty business. Had to be done. Yes, of course. I hadn't realized peace depended on killing babies. Oh, is he stirring the pot? Mm -hmm. Especially the Queen's orders. I never said they were the Queen's orders. Who else would want to murder King Robert's bastards? You've heard the awful rumors about my brother and sister. I don't listen to filth. I suppose people who do believe that filth consider Robert's bastards to be better claimants to the throne than Cersei's children. Joffrey is my king. The rest doesn't interest me. I appreciate your loyalty. When your men slaughtered Ned Stark's men in the throne room, did you give the order? I did, and I would again. The man was a traitor. He just looks like a snake, doesn't he? I know. He had no idea you were already bought. Mm -hmm. Are you drunk? Not have my honor questioned by an imp? I'm not questioning your honor. I'm denying its existence. <laughs> I think I'll stand here and take this from you, dwarf. Yes, you will stand here and take it from me, unless you'd like to take it from my friend here. Oh. I intend to serve as Hand of the King until my father returns from the war. And seeing as you betrayed the last Hand of the King, well, I just wouldn't feel safe. Ooh. My friends at court will not allow this. <laughs> There's a ship leaving for Eastwatch by the sea tonight. I hope you enjoy the wall. I found it surprisingly beautiful in a brutal, horribly uncomfortable sort of way. Dang, you sending him to the wall? Just straight up. <laughs> Men are under my command. Don't look like it. I command you to arrest this cutthroat. LeBron James. He's the new commander of the City Watch. I have friends at court. Powerful friends. That's wild, man. So Tyrion <laughs> just made his first power move. Yeah. Kinda Dang, tyrannical, he just, but he hey. just took someone to the Night's Watch. He said, y'all need help. The Here you go. I mean, in his mind, you murdered a baby, so you got to go to the Night's Watch, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Behind Joffrey's back. I wonder how he's gonna feel about that. Who cares? Well, his question is ego. An infant girl, say, still at her mother's breast. Would you do it without question? If you paid him, you would. Without question? No. I'd ask how much. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Money talks, boy. Well, he's made that pretty clear. Yeah, he did. He has. That's why he's still hanging out with Tyrion. Absolutely. Because remember, I was like, how did that man get there? Like, how did he just fought for him one time and now they're buds? That's why you ask those hypotheticals. Don't don't let people tell you you're crazy for it. Ask him. They come back. I say we yield. Gendry's the one they want. I ain't afraid of no battle. You got within a mile of a battle, you fill your pants. You'd fill your pants. <laughs> I saw a man kill another man just outside a tavern, stabbed him right in the neck. Two men fighting is in a battle. <laughs> they had armor on. <laughs> What does a die's apprentice now about battles anyway? Gendry's an armor's apprentice. Hot pie. How Gendry makes a fight into a battle. When they've got armor on. And he told you that. A knight? How'd you know he was a knight? Because he said so. Because <laughs> he's got armor on. <laughs> you don't have to be a knight to have armor. How'd you know? Because I sold armor. <laughs> <laughs> what is the gold clips? What with you? No idea. You're a liar. Yeah, you shouldn't insult people that are bigger than you. No one would get to insult anyone. He really doesn't know, though, right? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Because he just said that guy was just here asking questions. No goods ever come. Who asked questions before? Someone so small be such a huge pain in my ass. Who asked questions? Hands of the king. Lord Arryn came first a few weeks before he died, and then Lord Stark came a few weeks before he died. Asking me questions is bad luck. Probably be dead soon. <laughs> 
What did they ask about? My mum worked in a tavern, died when I was little. And who was your father? Could have been one of those gold-hatted bastards, for all I know. What about you, anyway? Thought they were after you. Right, why? Why? Did you kill someone, or is it just because you're a girl? You think I'm as stupid as the rest of them? Night Swatch doesn't take girls. Everyone knows that. You're still a girl. I am not. <laughs> oh, he knew immediately. I don't need to take a piss. <laughs> she said it's little. <laughs> no one can know. They won't. Not from me. Right, you have a secret too, you just don't know it. My name's not Ari, it's Arya of House Dark. Yaron is taking me home to Winterfell. Who's your father? The Han, the traitor. He was never a traitor. Joffrey is a liar. But you're a highborn then, you're a lady. No, I mean, yes, my mother was a lady. Oh, he's freaking out. But all that about I should never have said. <laughs> and I've been pissing in front of you and everything. <laughs> so he feels like he's disrespecting her. <laughs> Call me Milady. As Milady commands. Well, that was unladylike. <laughs> yeah, he's playing too much. Does he think she's joking? Mm -mm. I mean, I don't think so. It looks like a little girl. Isn't he expecting this like warm welcome and I don't see no nothing? What are you Was carrying? It? Wine from the arbor and the air to Pike and the Iron Islands. The only living son of Balon Greyjoy. He doesn't care. <laughs> Me? <laughs> don't like wine. Woman's drink. <laughs> I need to get to Pike. Oh, is he about to have to pay him? Wow, I throw him in the water. Dang. And you have, a you have a claim to the Iron Islands or whatever. Right, next to the line. <laughs> they said pish posh with that. I'm heading that way. I can take you there. How'd she hear that? She walked up. You've been at sea long. Or were there just no women where you came from? Unlike you. You don't know what I'm like. You don't know what you're like. You need someone to teach you. You think I offer free rides to every man in jewelry? Lord Greyjoy. Oh, he's like, yes, I feel the respect. My thing sent up to the castle. <laughs> hey, well, he's paying people. I know, especially if you're like next in line, bro. They better be like, yes, sir. Would you give me the reins. I'm a better rider than you. I was about to say, why in the world is freaking, why is she driving? <laughs> Nine years. Still know your way around a ship. Have these hands ever touched a rope? Don't you worry about my hands. He's about to have a salt wife. i my father. Yeah, that will make him king again. And me after him. You make it to stay in a castle tonight if you're lucky. Is that an offer from my future king? An order. You can tell your grandchildren about this night. I don't imagine it'll be a story fit for children. I mean, that place just doesn't look as grand as some of the other places. It looks so gloomy. It does. Look at that octopus. Nine years, is it? He took a frightened boy. What have they given back? <laughs> a man, your blood and your air. We shall see. Stark had you longer than I did. Lord Stark is gone. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> Done is done. You're sad, bro. We know. Proposal from Rob Stark. Who gave you those clothes? Was it Ned Stark's pleasure to make you his daughter? Dane talking <laughs> junk about his clothes. I will change them. Here. I think they look cool. Better than that thing. Yeah, who was he? The Undertaker or something? Them rags. <laughs> Did you pull it from the neck of a corpse you made? So they got that from people they killed? <laughs> Their clothes? Maybe. Oh, gold. Oh. Why is he trembling? Because he, he's disappointing him. I'd have my son dressed as a whore. <laughs> <laughs> My fears have come true. Wow. The Starks have made you theirs. Well, he lived there. <laughs> the Stark boy sends you to me like a trained raven. That's what I was thinking, bringing him proposals. He heeds your counsel. I've lived with him, fought at his side. He thinks of me as a brother. No, not here, not in my hearing. You <laughs> will not name him brother. This son of the man who put your true brothers to the oh, sword. Oh, yeah, that is true. Forgotten your own blood. That is tough. I remember my brothers. But you sent him away, right? I right. remember when my father was a king. You're going to stand up to him. Stand up to him. He's like halfway standing up to him. That's a long letter. I see. I destroy Rob Stark's enemies for him, and he will make me king of the Iron Islands once again. I will lead the attack myself. Oh, you will. I'm your son. Your only living heir. Who else? Told you to wait outside. <laughs> How did you get past the guards? My dear. Oh, is that his wife? Uh, he likes young ones too. So good to see you, brother. <gasps> oh, his that's sister. her brother too. Oh. <laughs> and he Dude, touched on her like that. Like and he that, touched on her like that. Bro, maybe he didn't mean to. You're a woman. You're the one in skirts. <laughs> this is a wonderful boy. Your sister took over command of your eldest brother's ship after your new father killed him. Oh, it's dead, may never it's die. Dead, may never die. <laughs> <laughs> She's commanded men. She's killed men. She knows who she is. She's great joy. No man gives me a crown. I pay the iron price. I will take my crown. But that is who I am. Dang, so he's putting his hat in the race, too. They some dang pirates. You won't stand a chance against the Lannisters on your own. Who said anything about the Lannisters? <laughs> he's fighting with the Lannisters. Oh my gosh. Maybe, or maybe they're not fighting. Maybe they're fighting their own fight. Why would I bet on the men with the worst chance? 
Stannis has proved himself in war twice. Baby brother has never set foot on a battlefield. Neither has the false king Joffrey. The false king. I love that. Mm -hmm. His bannermen will rally. But they course. they use their um. There's no man in the seven their kings military than as like worthy of being a king a lot. Right. I am a pirate. I'm an excellent pirate. I don't sail for promises. Every time you leave harbor, you're leaving on a promise. A promise that somewhere on the sea, somebody's got some gold, and you can take it from it. That's a promise that always comes true. As is mine. You're not the young man, Salador. And correct me if I'm wrong, most pirates don't grow old. Only the clever ones. You want to spend your last few years on the sea? Then go. They're out there waiting for you. That's easy. What I'm offering you is hard. Come with me and plunder the greatest city in Westeros. You'll be the richest man in Lees. I'm the most famous. They'll be singing songs about you as long as men have voices to sing. That's Stannis' group right there, right? Right. I want the queen. The queen? I want him. I'll sail with your fleet, all 30 of my ships. And if we don't drown at the bottom of Blackwater Bay... It's oh, God. Isn't about you. We're not attacking King's Landing so that you can f*** the queen. Oh, my God. If she would just hey. let you. You don't know how persuasive I am. I never tried to f*** you. <laughs> That guy's like, what the world? The one true god is what's between a woman's legs and better yet a queen's legs. I don't know, man. Her brother's been off in that. <laughs> Might be ruined. <laughs> Tell me. I mean, I'm just saying. I promise you the glory. I cannot promise you the queen. Right, that's a tough one. You believe your king can win. He is the one true king. You must tell us you're funny people. Men chops off your fingers and you fall in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sail with you, Davos Seaworth. You're the most honest smuggler I ever met. <laughs> Make me rich. Get me to the gates of King's Landing, and I will. Dang. He made an alliance. So what's that guy's name? Sir Davos? Yeah, Sir Davos. Seaworth, they say. <laughs> they got so short. When will the king have a sail? As soon as his god wills it. He's my god too, and yours. But you were too blind to see. Let me teach you how to read. Oh, yeah. The holy books are much more persuasive than I can be. I wish I had a god. Truly, none of it works. But you always came home. I wasn't praying, but I was. Is that a sun? Are you getting a sun vibe? Every night that you were at sea, I lit a candle and I prayed for you. Dude, I don't know. You want me to have a god? King Stannis is my god. I'm getting more like a preacher vibe. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a future. I could never have imagined. You'll be a knight someday. You think a fire god commanded all that? It was Stannis. Only Stannis. Oh, Stannis has just been good to him. Stannis is my king, but he's only a man. Don't tell him that. <laughs> he said, don't tell him that. As if he's like, I have every right. I am the king's hand. You're serving as the king's hand till father gets here. Listen to me, queen regent. <laughs> You're losing the people. Do you hear me? Ah, the people. You think I care? <laughs> you might find it difficult to rule over millions who want you dead. Half the city will starve when winter comes, the other half will plot to overthrow you. And your gold-plated thugs just gave them their rallying cry. The queen slaughters babies. Right, you're an idiot, Cersei. I oh, know. <laughs> Don't even have the decency to deny it. Oh, so she did it, not Joffrey. Oh, she didn't. No, she's she... acting kind of surprised, doesn't it seem? I'm getting the vibe that she's trying to cover it up for, for like for Joffrey. Maybe. She wouldn't want him to know that. And you gave See? Him oh my gosh. Joffrey didn't even tell you. <sighs> Growing out of control. He did what needed to be done. You want to be handed the king? This is what ruling is. Lying on a bed of weeds, ripping them out by the root one by one before they strangle you in your sleep. I think there's more to ruling than that. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what you think you've never taken it seriously you haven't jamie hasn't it's all fallen on me i'm sorry you feel that way <laughs> as has jamie repeatedly according to stannis baratheon <laughs> you're funny <laughs> you've always been funny but none of your jokes will ever match the first one will they you remember back when you ripped my mother open on your way out of her and she bled to death rude the lowest blow she right my mother too i know mother gone for the sake of you there's no bigger joke in the world than that <laughs> Golly, Cersei. They're so rude. <laughs> Dang. But she's used up her lowest blow. Like, what more can you say after that? Right. There you go. You're winning every other argument, Darian. Yeah, why is your feelings hurt? You knew she was going to say that? How's it fair with you, pirate? Salador Sam will join our fleet. 30 ships. His men know how to fight. In my experience, pirates prefer fighting unarmed men. It does seem the wiser choice. It won't be a choice. Do you trust him? I've known him 30 years. Never trusted him. <laughs> well, he's a he pirate. Smell of gold, he never stops. Well, if he does his job, he'll have his share. Leave us. <laughs> he's like, new council meeting. I want you, Grace. You can tell Davos doesn't really like that girl. Right, well, you can tell that from the jump. I don't really like that girl. A lot of life shines through you, young warrior. She's giving me cult member vibes, right? Cult leader. Because she's really hyping up this Lord of Light, making it seem like she's got some type of, like, I don't know, authority to speak on behalf of it. Yeah. What did you say to him? Death by fire is the purest death. Why? <laughs> because it's true. You're troubled, my king. 
Is he trying to brainwash people to go get burned up? These armies are toys for the Lord of Light. Tell your Lord to burn them, then. I tell him nothing. I pray for his commands, and I obey. My little brother has 100,000 men, according to the scouts. Men whose allegiance rightly belongs to me. You must have faith. In a real war, the side with the greater number wins. Nine times out of ten. Then we must be the ten. I cannot defeat my brother in the field. And I can't take King's Landing without the men he stole. I have seen the path to victory in the flames. See? Yeah, that's why she keeps talking about the burning of people. I've said the words, damn ya. <laughs> damn ya. <laughs> I burnt the idols. You must give all of yourself. I have a wife. I took a vow. <laughs> she disgusts you. Where do you find her? <laughs> and she's given you nothing. No sons. Only death. What do you think he's about to do? You think he's going to do that? I will give you. Especially if he's trying to take the throne, he like wants a son, don't he? Oh, I offer a hundred percent guarantee. Oh, he don't care about the, the little war moves. I didn't know what that was. I, I was like, what is that big hairy rock? <laughs> it was just Jon Snow. <gasps> Where are you taking that child? Is Jon about to go kill this dude? They're about to have a fight and John's probably about to have to kill him. He's going to be in all kinds of trouble. Scraping and jangling. I know. What do you even do with that? Wood scraping and twig snapping. <laughs> what are they doing? <gasps> they just dropped them off. So he just gave that baby to someone. What's up with babies in this episode? A creature snarling. Whoa, somebody just took the baby. Dude, they have blue, blue eyes. eyes. Oh, a that dude's giving walker. it to White Walkers. <gasps> oh my God, then he just knocked my boy outside his noggin. Man, what's that dude's name? I don't know Let's that just call name. him the daughter, the daughter, the daughter tapper. <laughs> Man, a lot happened that, so, I mean, let's start with where we just left off. For some reason, this freak of a dude is giving babies to White Walkers. Yeah, because they had blue eyes. That's all we know. Like, is he sacrificing them to live out there? So I guess the thing is, the blue-eyed monsters are eating them, turning them into blue-eyed monsters, sacrificing yeah, what if they're them. Like, what if that's how they're building their armies, is that dude? I mean, that dude would have to be out there just straight that clapping, boy. Yeah, that boy, that boy right there drink a lot of water. Stop. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, that was crazy, that part. That was the development in the White Walker stuff. Then we also learned Stay that- Stay hydrated, boys. All right, we also learned that Stannis um, cheated on his wife with that lady. Everyone in the show cheats on their wife, though, so it's all good. Yeah, but he cheated on his wife with that lady to have a son. Well, I'm saying, didn't it seem like she sort of like put a spell on him in that moment? I don't know. She's a witch. I don't know. I just think him hearing the fact of having a son made him like happy because that's all they care about in this. It's just like sending off their Line lineage. Line of succession. Yeah, they just care about their lineage and that's it. Right. Yeah, basically. Basically, every kid is just a bridge. I mean, we've already thrown out the idea of morality in this show, right? Haven't we? This is just an immoral world. Is mm -hmm. there a such thing as morality in this world? Even the best right. characters seem to suck. So it's a very morally great They're world. They're sneaking so. in their own way because, yeah, Ned even cheated on Catelyn. Yeah. And had John Snow. Honor. So I forgot about that, um, bro. Theon yeah. goes to his dad and is basically like, I'm the heir. And then he's like, not Gets really, no bro. Respect. You got a whole sister that is like, killed men and you're over here buying like skirts but you know he gets treated so much better uh <laughs> hanging out with two bees yeah with the sarks and right. but but it, it shows in this show that no matter what you're loyal to your family right yeah so i get a sense is that theon's probably going to turn on the starks what do you think that he's going to turn on the i starks. think he's going to turn on the starks because i you can tell when that little, when his sister stepped up, he was like, oh no. So I guess the question is, which army is Theon gonna continue to fight in? I don't know, man. I really think that the show is trying to show you that no matter what, you're supposed to stay loyal to your family, but I think they've exaggerated. They've shown us that so hard because I think Theon will be the exception. Oh, I hope so. Because hope he, he just gets treated so bad here. And then his sister basically just like- They laughed at him and he was the one who got traded off. Like that, it wasn't even his Didn't his sister fault. basically just like molest him? No, well, no, he basically molested her. No, dude, he didn't know that they were related, but she did. Oh, yeah, she did. That, that was, was like unconsensual. That was weird, yeah. That was weird. Bro. I didn't think that of it from so her point of view. Weird. I thought he was just touching on her. I didn't even consider yeah, dude, like, Dude, she just. She knew that already. Anyways. That was gross of her to do that. Um, that was, that if was my sister weird. ever did that to me, I'd have her head. This, this was a weird episode, bro. Um, yeah, and a lot of babies died in it. Yeah, just a dark episode. It, Basically, war is brewing, man. Um, and Arya gave, told Gendry she was a girl. Right, and they're after Gendry, and he's just going to have to trust her with that. 
and they're still on the run and he doesn't even know why he's being sought after so that's a whole interesting thing because he really doesn't know right so to me the most interesting part of the episode though um when you really get down to the bones of it was Tyrion. so Tyrion is taking his role as hand of the king very seriously and it seems like he's trying to do the best he can do mm -hmm. like if there is some type of like moral compass in this show Tyrion, to some extent seems to be through ruling not in his personal life yeah 100 it's just hard to say but Tyrion seems to be trying to do his best he at least he seems like he's drawn a personal line for himself and he's not willing to cross that line mm -hmm. and you know I guess when it comes down to like the murder of infant children, he's just not willing to cross that line where right. Joffrey and Cersei on the other hand, you know. But you can see that this position is really taking a toll on Cersei. Mm. Now, I'm not emphasizing, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad for her by any means. She's just kind of losing position. control of Joffrey, which is like what she needs. Like she has to have control of him. He's reckless. She made the statement that ruling is laying in a bed of weeds, trying not to get strangled. Mm -hmm. And Tyrion was like, well, I've never ruled, but I really don't agree with that. And she's saying right. she, she just doesn't care what he thinks. And right. that just goes to show, you know how, well, we've been together for a long time. You know how like the when we first got together, we'd have an argument, it matters so much. But then after a while, when you have an argument, you, it's really easy to just get in that mindset of not really caring so much. That I feel like that's where Cersei's at. She's just to the point where she really, any situation that comes up, she just doesn't care. Mm -hmm. and that's dangerous. You got to fix that. You got to nip that stuff in the butt. So Right. And maybe a lot of it, maybe it has to do with her her lover her brother is like being held captive like she has that on the back of her mind i don't know like that would because that's a whole thing still too we really just don't know what's gonna happen we don't know who's gonna attack who because it seems like Stanith has an army the Greyjoys have an army renly has an army rob has an army the lannisters have an army absolutely and the white walkers have an army and yes. the, men of the Night's Watch have an army. So yes. if you really think about it, I mean, that's like the what, wildlings seven? have an army. That's like eight, eight heads that are about to come together and just clash. And, so. and it's like who's gonna go go into who and who's gonna attack first? And one, and you know, the thing is, this landscape's really starting to play out in a way that once all these armies collide, it's really gonna change the geography and the layout and the culture and just everything that builds up westeros and makes this world what it is like all that could change mm. because it seems like this is like a thousand year war it just doesn't seem like the show makes it seem like wars like this don't just happen all the time right you know what i'm saying it seems but like they kind of uh, like so far when we were watching the histories and lore it seems like as if they do happen well they do happen and wars yeah. happen like especially <laughs> like uh but for 17 years straight they didn't right but it right. seems like even when they did happen though was it just a full-blown worldwide no 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 it seemed like the dragons kind of dominated we would really have to get into more like history and lore yeah. to really but it seemed like the question. dragons just dominated all those like if you had dragons you're, you won yeah it seems like it yeah and it seems like our dragons right now are kind of weak and you know what was weird to me is Joffrey. There's all this going on, and Joffrey's like too busy playing games. Like, well, he's, he's a little boy, right? He's a young, chi he's a young child, and you would expect that with someone. But there's like war coming on all angles. Right. Well, you heard Tyrion ask him. He said, uh, <laughs> "I didn't see you on the battlefield." And he's like, "I've been right here." And you can tell he has. Hey, no I have intention. to rule. Someone has to rule. I'm ruling. Right. I mean, he wouldn't even get into like a physical altercation with someone. You know, when his right. mom slaps him, he literally looks like he's just shocked that like someone would put. A I finger would be on too him. scared to slap him if I was the mom because he's so reckless. <laughs> Yeah, but mentally though, I mean, she she seems wild, bro. Yeah, she yeah. She seems not as immature and impulsive and just childish. You know, Joffrey rules with a very literal childish perception of what it means to be king. Mm -hmm. Joffrey takes that very very literally, and he doesn't think about anything past like what you would imagine a child would think a king would be. I mean, if right. you took a 15 year old boy and asked him what a king should be, or a 12 year old boy, it would be that answer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, I would do whatever I want. I'd eat sandwiches all day. I raised one army, and we would be up for this. That's what he said because he said it when he said the Starks are enemies to her. He was like, I know exactly what I would do. I'd have one army, and then even Master Pycelle said he's really big in like military. He's a military and stern attitude. And there's this whole world out there, and the idea that you might have to lean on someone or work with someone to coexist in any type of way, like that idea seems to just challenge a Lannister's ego yeah worse than anything like his Lannisters are nothing right and it just seems like I'm getting the vibe that they're just gonna ride with each other to the very end no matter what yeah they seem Lannisters. the most tight-knit of all the families there's not as many loop at least the Starks hold their gods above their family you know like ultimately like their family sits below their gods on their hierarchy but to the Lannisters it's a, yeah uh, right yeah it's so. your family and they'll keep bloodlines pure too it seems absolutely yeah it definitely seems mm -hmm. all right guys that was Game of th uh, Thrones Thrones episode two, season two. Uh, we're moving through this so fast. I can't believe we're already here. I'm having so much fun watching.
unfortunate. It's getting more complicated. I'm getting more confused. I'm doing my best to keep up. I hope you guys are having fun watching us watch this. We're doing our best to keep up with it. And yeah, all series long, dude, I'm be getting names wrong, saying things, remembering things incorrectly. And my beautiful uh, Mrs. October will be correcting me and making sure I'm on track. So like, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon <laughs> if you guys don't want to miss the journey. And we'll see you guys in episode three. Let's go.